Hey, this is A. R. Rahman. You're watching me on Indian Folk Project. What are the questions that you're bored of now? What is your favorite song? <laughs> Don't ask me that. Why are you the Batman of Indian music? Why are you the Batman? <laughs> Fifteen years back, mm. the executive of the music mm. company says mm. he shows me inappropriate photographs. So uh, my question to you is: Should I become a singer? Or should I stop infecting people? You should become a singer. You have the right. Question I go to Maidan for flying drones sometimes. <laughs> 2016, 17. I was the drone operator for my movie, 99 songs. Uh, are you aware of the game played in the northern part of India, Antakshari? Yes. What do you sing with Ma? The lyricist, a great lyricist, Wali Ji. Mm -hmm. So you always felt like if I start anything with M, it becomes a hit. It's a blessing that my mom pulled me out of high school and put me into music rather than wasting time. If you don't listen to your music, mm -hmm. you're a happy person. Do you get angry? Of course. How do you show your anger? By throwing things. <laughs> This is how a legend looks like in flesh and blood <laughs> when there's no TV screen in between. Uh, just to confirm, this is not an AI. <laughs> yes. Jim Carrey once said during a Golden Globe speech, when I am doing something, I am the Golden Globe Award winner, <laughs> Jim Carrey. So the legend, how does the legend work on a day-to-day -day basis? Oh uh, God, it depends on the deadline. <laughs> What what song releases? What movie releases? And then you just you just forget everything, uh -huh. and you just want to make things work, likable. I, I remember uh, this is a Ram Gopal Verma story of Rangila. <laughs> <laughs> many many stories. Which one? So he 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 said in one of the interviews. Me and Rahman went to Goa. Five days we were there in, a, uh, in two, two cottages. Rahman was in one, I was in one, and waiting, waiting. And first day said I will. Uh, I'm doing something. Tomorrow came, tomorrow evening again, day after tomorrow, there's no song. He said, no, uh, Ram, can I request you one thing? So what? Next time you see that I'm in a room when there's no TV, because all these four days are watching TV. He said, I wanted to very punch him in the nose, man. <laughs> you know? Is this true? True. Uh, but not the TV which I watched was very inspiring. It led to Hey Rama song. Ah. So I was watching Mughalayasam. <laughs> and in Mughalayasam, there's a scene where Bade Gulam Jikan Saab, mm -hmm. he sings a rag. Mm -hmm. I think it's Sony or something, one of the rags. And I said, that's a very sensual scene where he's just taking the candle mm -hmm. and looking, in your fa looking at the face. Mm -hmm. I said, sensuality can come from Hindustani classical music, then I need to take that. <laughs> and then I just interpreted that as Hey Rama, so know. in Korea yeah. Dhanashree. Oh. So that whole idea well, came from watching TV, so that TV was good. It didn't go waste. <laughs> it didn't go waste. It's too late in the show to introduce the show. It's the Indie and Folk Project and I have with me, if I have to introduce him, then I think we should just stop the interview right away. I'm Piyush and uh, Mr. Rahman, just one question. So, uh, my question to you is, should I become a singer or should I stop infecting people? Uh, you should become a singer. You have the right. Sitting on his left, I have the right. <laughs> Wonderful. So, <clears throat> what are, you've been giving interviews after interviews. Uh, what are the questions that you're bored of now? What is your favorite song? <laughs> Don't ask me that. I was thinking that I <laughs> shouldn't repeat and do the honors, but anyway, what is your favorite song? This is a oh question. Oh God. <laughs> so, why does a favorite song become a favorite song? Some memory connected to it? Memory connected to it, or maybe because you like the production, mm. you like the musicality. Mm. So, why can't everything be your favorite song? That mm. is my question. If I don't like something, why should I give that song to somebody else? Mm. So, how do you make that a favorite song? Oh, because it doesn't have enough musical interlude, it doesn't have an interesting tune, it doesn't have an interesting lyric, it doesn't have a vibe which I want to go back to it. That means there's a problem in the song. Mm. So that is my take on it. Of course, beyond all this movies released and then 
then I don't want to listen to the songs because I don't want to repeat that same again. I want to move on with what I believe music is, what gives me happiness, what makes me dodge the mundane. Right? So, so this is another question that people usually ask. Why are you the Batman of Indian music? Why are you the Batman? <laughs> Uh, what, what? The Batman of Indian music? You're Batman. awake at night? Yeah. Alfred, Robin and you? Yeah, exactly. Uh, are you aware of the game played in the northern part of India, Antakshari? Yes. What do you sing with Ma? Mukabla. <laughs> I knew. I had three songs in my head. Mukabla, yeah. Maya Maya, Maya Maya and uh, Mustafa. Mustafa and one uh, Markma Ninja. Markma Ninja, yeah. So, yeah. Great. Uh, That's actually a strange ma factor with the lyricist, great lyricist Wali Ji. Mm -hmm. So you always felt like if I start anything with M, it becomes a hit. So you'll make sure that he writes Mardani, Mustafa, Maria, Mukabla, right? It's a list of ma. When when it happens in ma, you can see that smile in his face. It's going to become a hit. It starts with ma. Do you also follow, follow superstitions? No. No. You don't have any anything, any, any ritual or anything? I think the problem is it, it's just anything you believe in becomes a reality. Mm -hmm. That's what life is about. You, you believe mean. in something, it becomes a reality. If I feel like, oh, you know, Tuesdays are unlucky or Tuesdays are lucky. If I start believing it, it will manifest into that stuff. So better to believe in bigger things and... Yeah. So you've been manifesting since the start? Yeah, true. What, what, to, what, what my, I, my manifestation was... When I started, if you look at all my interviews, I like, oh, I want to take Indian music, I want to take Tamil music to the international thing. And, mm. and it's not just uh, uh, me saying it like a innocent. I researched on why is our music not reaching abroad? What do we lack? And I worked towards that the production or recording or the vibe of a song. It's catering, catering to our culture, it's fantastic. But can some songs cater so that it can go? And now all the kids are doing it, it's great. Um, is, is, is the award a way um, like, uh, to let the people around the world to know that, okay, this kind of music, music exists and this is what we're doing? Or going to colleges like, like Berkeley gave you a great tribute and you, they did. What do you think? Is what, amongst these two, what is the medium? Bridge that you I think get. awards kind of sometimes you know they're not fools to give awards to something mm -hmm. and even now recently I heard one of the tracks and I said that's good mm -hmm. and then my nephew Kashif said no that won a Grammy so it's not that people just give awards for mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. so it was I think it's, um, it's a track from Skrillex so mm -hmm. it's a recent album so I said okay there's something good and people feel the same thing. That's the same kind of instinct which makes us produce music. And yeah. But uh, any now we are sitting in an AC room talking about Maidan. <laughs> so when was the last time you entered the Maidan not for performing, but for playing? <laughs> for playing? Yeah. No, I mean playing or singing? No, no, not singing, <laughs> not performing, playing. No, I never. The sport? Never, never, ever. You haven't followed any sport? No, there was no time in my life. Uh, not even as a child. No. So then the question. So I go to Maidan for flying drones sometimes. <laughs> you fly drones. I used to. Now mm -hmm. I think there are a lot of rules. Okay. Towards 2016-17, I was the drone operator for my movie, 99 songs. Viral, viral material media. <laughs> he used to fly drones. It is said that mostly people who who become um, <clears throat> sports people. Mm. It's considered not absolute, not in ab, uh, absolutism, but it's considered that they are either uh, uh, dropouts or they are not good in studies. Mm. Uh, but they eventually, at some point of time, become prodigies. You also left studies. <laughs> Is there a connection? I think there's a connection. The connection is you don't ask a fish to climb a tree. Right? That's a famous quote. Mm -hmm. And it's true that uh, what is the definition of education? And I think everything's being reinvented now. Now there's AI coming in doing things which took years for people to learn just in seconds and a prompt away. So what is the use of that? 
unless you're involving, unless you're creating, unless you're envisioning to shape a country or a village or a city or a society, I think it requires much more than the set. Of course, the basic things we learn to, to speak in a, a language, to calculate max and basic chemistry, biology. History is always narrative based. History can be narrative, which, which perspective narrative is. And now it's all completely polarized history. <laughs> so now when you think about it, I think it's a blessing that my mom pulled me out of high school and put me into, uh, to involve myself in, in music rather than wasting time. Like every parent says, oh, you become a doctor, then you become a musician. You become an engineer and then you can become a musician. If somebody you picked wants up studies. Sorry? Had you picked up studies full time? Uh, what I, would you have become? I think the insatiable quest for knowledge comes from not studying. <laughs> like Thank Kam God somebody said, I'll tell Kamala my father. Kamalasan. If you look at Kamalasan, I think he's a dropout too. But look at his knowledge. If you just yeah. keep talking yeah, yeah. to him, he knows poetry, he does this, he knows filmmaking, he knows... And I think it comes from the insatiable quality of the thirst of, oh, I left school. I don't want to be dumb. I want to learn more. Or to to sharpen your, uh, your craft and move on. Yeah. This was a short piece of the roast of education system in India. <laughs> no, I'm, not, legend, no, I'm not saying education is bad and all that stuff. Not every kid needs to go through the torture. Mm. Time is, every breath is you know, valuable. You don't mm. torture people of doing stuff which is at the same time, you know, if you need to be a brain surgeon, you need to go through that stuff. Mm. You know, you can't give, oh, I want to learn this stuff and open somebody's brain and damage us. That's, for certain things, definitely you need that stuff. Not for everybody. Everybody's not made in the same way. They're artists, they're humanists, they're people. I think certain things you need to learn slowly, right? Music is something which comes from experience, which see people fail and then you learn from that stuff, you fail, people learn from that and there's no timing for that. And look at uh, Tarantino never went to film school, yeah. <laughs> Ram Gopal Varma never went to film school. <laughs> True. <laughs> right? Mani Ratnam never went to film school and you have great filmmakers like that coming yeah, in. Yeah. And the reason is also the quest for uh, filling up the void of what people couldn't fill up. So, Two back-to-back -back movies coming up. Shamkila, Maidan and the best thing about like my favorite amongst all the songs in Maidan is Ranga Ranga. There's a lot of folkish touch to it and with Shamkila and and throughout in, in your music the, the, the different parts of India and different folk cultures have been represented. Is there a conscious decision behind that? As a listener I want to listen to I want to appreciate every culture. And because every culture has truth in it. Every, it, it, there's an evolvement, there is history in it. So who are we to decide only this culture should come in for mainstream audience? Mm -hmm. They need to be given like a mm -hmm. thali of stuff. Mm -hmm. There should be pickle, buttermilk, sambar, rasam, you know, all that stuff. And if you just keep one thing, it's boring. And as a, as a music producer, composer, I think it's my duty to find out what is that which can give a color to the movie which would make it different from the other run-of-the-mill, let's say, content movies. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what the extra work it takes for somebody to go deep dive and bring something, beauty into something which is could be mundane if done the wrong way. Mm -hmm. the, the, there are times when we feel that uh, Rehman Saab is not doing Hindi films and then he's doing a lot of Hindi <laughs> films. See, I can't, uh, I can never orchestrate my life. I feel like I tried and failed. Whatever has to happen, I think I, I believe in the supernatural. I believe in the Almighty. He has a plan. Mm -hmm. Sometimes and something doesn't come, even if I try hard, mm -hmm. films get delayed. Mm -hmm. And 2016, it's like three, four movies, all of them mm -hmm. never took off. Mm -hmm. So I said, maybe I'll just chill out. I'll just do what I'm, I'm getting. And when, I, when the things happen, I'll just be consistent in it. Mm -hmm. I won't get dip. Mm -hmm depressed or feel cheated or anything I just keep doing because as long as I've been doing music mm -hmm. I'm not doing I'm not playing an immigration officer I'm looking at people and yes <laughs> you can pass <laughs> Gandalf the Great. Thank you, the wonderful, exactly, yeah. wonderful. So, uh, uh, my question 
like when we have to chill and uh, when we want to unwind we listen to ar rahman's music what do on I a listen? playlist <laughs> but no but no do you have your songs in your playlist different question <laughs> see <laughs> I get tense, you know that any creative person uh-huh. just want to dodge uh, the responsibility of judging the work because you'll always find, oh my God, is the bass too much? Mm-hmm. Did I put the flute too much? Is it too mm-hmm. wet? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know these questions coming. So if you don't listen to your music, mm-hmm. you're a happy person because you get tortured because you you're not listening to it. You're judging it again. One and the, then you call the, the engineer like why did you put too much bass in it <laughs> once the affair is over the jilted lover moves on moves on this next affair next affair well you you mentioned about ai um you you did this uh, uh, an album lal salam yeah although you mentioned that why you did what you did but do you think that in this era of technology is ai created songs or <coughs> or, or like lyrics and everything they say in our office they say Uh, people can be replaced now hmm do you think it is okay for the ai kind of music to be taken into the mainstream and i've not heard any ai music yet hmm. pe- a lot of people are trying on the internet try <laughs> okay so what this uh, why are we liking sitting in the theater why are people going to theater they can watch at home on a netflix mm-hmm. why are they coming to theater mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. It's a collective experience. Mm-hmm. It's a collective experience. Of course, the theaters have good sound, atmos, and all the stuff. So I think there's kind of a human give back. Each person has a responsible spiritual responsibility, which is not going to go away. Why are people? Why is Taylor Swift uh, the highest selling artist? She sold one billion, you know, in in just live performance. They can listen to it on CD. Mm-hmm. Why are they going supporting Taylor Swift? So I think there's there's a world which is completely misunderstood now thinking that oh we need machines the machines can replace human beings no we made the machines so we will find the way it is like a david and goliath kind of thing and whenever there is something adversity there will be something pure coming in and compensating it so if you have a good employer who believes in karma who doesn't want to get the curse of not you know removing his workers he is going to say take ai and make yourself 10x better if you have a bad guy who wants to take or steal all the money and uh, deprive families of you know food and stuff work he is going to say i'm going to replace all these people with ai so he's going to get all the bad karma <laughs> so you guys decide what you want to do when any when i look at all your interviews and right now when i'm talking to you positive person spiritually inclined person why would you say that life is a burden in one of your interviews no i think because of the expectations you have on yourself mm-hmm. the the expectation you have yourself sometimes you feel like it's a burden of oh, trying to do too many things you know because you think you can do it mm-hmm. and it's not moving at the pace which you want to make <laughs> do you pressurize yourself as well of course you know if i'm lying and have holiday do you think work is going to happen mm-hmm. i am setting an example to my team my team is amazing why are they amazing because they are a mirror of me right if i come correctly to the studio they're going to come in if i ask them to come at 11 o'clock and i come at 3 o'clock they're not going to respect the work or me so is there any song that you made any wish that you didn't make <laughs> you work like the pressure that you put on yourself somebody else might have applied the pressure and might have said nee nee bana do please do this for me no most of very very lucky <laughs> any brief that you've been given by any director has you felt like what was this don't take names i know there uh, there is a i was in hollywood once and i mean not once like 15 years back mm-hmm. supposed to this album and this producer comes to me the executive of the mm-hmm. music company and says mm-hmm. he shows me inappropriate photographs mm-hmm. and says you have to do music for this if this moves the music is hit so something snapped in me oh thank you i'm going but i'm just smiling at him <laughs> i'm smiling at him and said okay this is the deal breaker buddy yeah yeah sure sure and then that's it you always see me smiling do you get angry of course 
How do you show your anger? By throwing things. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> breaking news. The camera is going to break. <laughs> no, kidding. But uh, before before we uh, wrap this interview, it uh, just want to say. Uh, it was a pleasure talking to you everybody will say that but to each their own and all of us are very uh, uh, very lucky to have you in our time zone to thank witness you. your music thank you a very small cheap thing that i'll ask you to do to sing a song no no that's a precious thing okay bhai. okay cheap thing cheap thing just say uh, just you have to say uh, indian folk project please subscribe to the channel that's all indian I folk project indie and folk project yeah. yeah it's a very cheap thing to do but anyway no no it's not cheap tell me am i Hey, this is A R Aman. You're watching me on Indian Folk Project. Mere zindagi bani. Mere zindagi.